I feel like it's been so long since I've done a challenge that involves color, whether that's every room is a different color, every room adds a color. It's been a long time. And one of you in the comments on my last video suggested that I do every room is two colors. So we're gonna generate two colors and no matter what we get, we have to make them work together in a room. I have this shell of a house here in Brindleton Bay with the trees that block the lawn. And this is a website called Coolers, which can generate color palettes. And for the exterior of the house, we are going to be doing blue. And that says black olive. It's like a black ray brown-ish. I love this blue though, so let's see what we can do. I like this blue, but it just seems like a way more muted version of the blue that we rolled. That seems a bit more accurate, but it's so bright and it's not textured at all. I don't want to do two separate types of like stone, but that's definitely our like black brown shade. I feel like that could actually work for us and maybe like with the furnishings, we'll be able to use a blue that like pops more. I'm also going to add these columns as a little bit of an accent on the walls. And the roofing might be kind of easy because a lot of the swatches that are black actually look very black brown. And this one almost has like a green undertone to it. And I think I'm going to use these windows from Season. And I'm going to go in with my Season store as well, even though it's not medium wall height. Now we have to do the front porch and I'm looking for like a blue that kind of works. And I don't know if I'm really finding it. I want to do this get together bench, but honestly, when you zoom out, it sticks out way too much. You know, I love a fun plan. Never mind. I don't like the fun plan. I tried to make it work. I tried to sit with it. It just wasn't working for us. Sometimes I'm at a loss of what to do on the exterior of houses and the only answer is string lights. Are they practical? Would I have those in my house every single day IRL? Maybe not, but I do think that they add a little cuteness factor to my Sims houses. I'm going to add a couple more chairs because Brindleton Bay seems like a great porch sitting world where you sit out on the porch and you enjoy your nature and your teeny tiny view you have of the water through this singular tunnel. Yeah. And now I think I just have to landscape. So here it is. I actually really love how it turned out. I always am fearful of brown and black together, but I feel like because we went with the really dark brown, it totally worked. So now we are coming into our front entryway and I'm also going to include, these are just like little hallway pockets and we are going to be using blue and blue. I'll be so honest. I just had to take like 30 seconds and debate re-rolling, but I think we have enough shades of blue in the game that we actually could make this work. And I think it's a little bit of a challenge because of how nervous I get sometimes with color swatches not perfectly matching. Like I think that'll be a challenge to kind of do that. So I've already started with our navy blue on the walls and I'm trying to decide if it might be easiest to just do one floor for the whole house because I just feel like it might look really silly if we do something like that in these rooms. Like I'm trying to be more serious with my Sims builds and I feel like that is very unserious. If this were the old Sarah Kendall, I probably would have done that. But the new Sarah Kendall wants to kind of maybe prioritize my builds looking good. I don't know. That's a little too ambitious though. I'm wondering if maybe these like debug pictures from Island Living could kind of be fun. Maybe do a gallery wall. You all know how I love a gallery wall. Maybe this like hallway table would kind of work. We'll do that as our welcome mat. Oh my god, we can squeeze an authority in here. Obviously. Now, I do think for some of the necessities, like obviously I can add this coat rack, even though it's not perfectly aligned with our color scheme and this shoe rack as well. But we'll do this one because it has blue shoes. Ooh, I mean, this is definitely our color scheme with this mirror. But this one kind of is too. And it's a lot more subtle because it's just on the side. So I wasn't thinking I would do that funky one, but maybe I'll do that funky one. These little cupcake lamps kind of work. Well, let's get some books. Let's get the little weird candle thingy in here. Man, what do we do? All of these like standalone shelves are just a little bit too big. Maybe we can do this corner shelf thing from high school years. Maybe I'll put the yoga mat there as if you're like grabbing the yoga mat on your way to go. Oh, that's a cute picture. Over here, I was thinking maybe we could do this like under the C one. So this is this area. This is this area. And this is the entryway area. The dining room's right here. So let's do that next. And for this room, we're going to be doing white and black. White and black, mint cream, and jet. Now I know I said I would do consistent floors to the whole thing, but I'm also like, what if we did like a fancy dining room flooring? And if you want to separate flooring a little bit more, but you still want your Sims to be able to walk over it, you can just take this illusion of fence from Strangerville and just draw it across. And it kind of creates a thicker line that definitely separates the space a bit more. So I've put white on our wall. I think maybe that means we should have a dark dining table. And I would love to find a chair that is like 
both white and black in some way. Oh, this parenthood one. What do we think? Seats on the end or no seats on the end? Ooh, and what do we do as our hanging light? There's a lot of options we could do here. Ooh, this one is also from the new pack. I don't love how it glows yellow, so I think I am able to change that to a neutral white so it goes a bit better with our color scheme. My vision for this is like a huge piece of art if we have one that like sweeps across the wall. Like this Moschino one. I wish it was a little bit wider but we might be able to make it work if we frame it with some light. Like, yes, that is the main feature of that wall. And on this part of the wall, ooh, we could do this clock. I don't know if I want to do this one because it has the gold accent and that's not part of our room color scheme. I just think it blends too much if I just do the white swatch. So maybe we do that there. We could bring in these paranormal curtains just because they also have the gold. And I know that gold was not part of the color scheme, so I don't, I'm, not, I'm gonna try and not use it anymore. But I just feel like that actually brings it together a little bit. I always struggle with centerpieces. I never know what to do. I think those little trees are so cute. Now the question, what goes on these walls? Maybe like a simplistic art piece? I found this poster and I'm actually taking this painting and sizing it up. And then what I'm doing is I delete the wall behind it so I can raise this one up and place it so that just the frame is coming through. So with just a little bit of tweaking, it looks like the poster is framed on the wall. So this is our dining room with the colors black and white and a pop of gold. Next, let's go to the kitchen. And for the kitchen, our colors are green and black. Okay. Wow. I can't say that is what I was expecting. What kind of green counters do we have? Do we have to do these ones? These are our greenest counters. You know what? I'm about it. This actually looks sick. I feel like the more you look at it, the better it looks. I don't know what to do about the cabinet situation here though. I guess since we don't have a dedicated pantry, that could work. I do know what stools I want to use. I've been loving these ones and I literally take any excuse to use these stools. Oh, and we finally can do like a plant without me having to be like, well, obviously every room needs plants. Oh, we could do this plant, the Sims 1 plant. And then let's get to cluttering. I always want to find uses for this fitness stuff towel rack more, but kind of hard. Oh, I said I was going to start putting more dishwashers in my build. So let's add one right there. Gonna get some juice bottles up here. I'm going to do the classic, put the coffee maker on an island counter, size down the island counter so you can slide it back in here trick but the coffee maker won't be functional just keep that in mind i'll do these little bubble rugs and so this is our green and black kitchen this actually really grew on me so now for the living area we're going to do gray and gray green gray and like reddish gray a lot of gray going on we could do that i feel like that kind of has more of the reddish undertones maybe it's just the weird like pixelization on the couch but i don't know and that has more of the green gray undertones what kind of chairs do we have I unfortunately have no idea if that's a good living room layout and I'm leaning towards it's not. Maybe if I angle the chairs, it looks a little better. Wait, that's like a green gray. It's definitely more of a green. I see the inspo behind it. It kind of matches with the edge of our rug there. We'll be adding our basket of cozies. I don't know if that's the right swatch. We'll do a light gray. I think maybe I should have re-rolled for this one. I don't want to be a cheater, but that might have been the time to re-roll if there was one. I do think this is a bit of a difficult space to work with. Oh, and I didn't even think about the wall. I feel like we're missing a lot of red undertoned gray. So maybe um, that will work for us. I'm feeling a little bit embarrassed. Like I don't know what to do. When in doubt though, you can always use this little candle from Perfect Patio. I feel like what if we took an artistic interpretation and did these pictures to really represent the red part of the undertone of the gray that we got? If you ever lose me, you can always find me making excuses. I actually do think it's kind of cute. <laughs> and the brown and blue door just sticks out so much. You can always do some string light. And so this is our living area with a lot of gray. A lot of gray. So next let's come into this first bedroom. And our colors for this are going to be red and navy. I think I'll start us off with the same wallpaper that we have in the hallway. I feel like that works really well. And what kind of red do we have? This one from Cottage Living. Wait, we actually have so many red beds. I am a little bit obsessed. We don't have as many red side tables though. Now these are both like primary colors, but it's not something that I really was thinking would work or that I would do too much. Like, I feel like I kind of shy away from red and blue because it just makes me think of like red, white, and blue or like patriotic stuff. Ooh, I love those paintings. That works so well. Maybe we get a desk over here. I would love to do that dresser, but I feel like it would really blend into the wall. I know you're not supposed to have a mirror facing the bed, but I really don't know where else we go with this unless we move the desk over to be kind of in line with the foot 
foot of the bed. And then we do a mirror right here. Then it's not in line with the bed. I guess that's okay. Oh, and we can do a cute little ottoman. If no one got me, I know basket of cozies got me. I don't know what to do in this corner though. Isn't there like a blue easel? Maybe we could do the blue easel or we could do a guitar. It does exist. It's just not like the navy blue. Oh well, who cares? I'm doing it. I thought I would like that rug under the bed, but the rumors are false. I do not like it. Oh, I feel like that would kind of bring it together. Now I'm going to get some clutter on top of the dresser here. Here is our red and blue bedroom. I don't like the curtains. I don't like that I made that choice, but we'll make it through. Now we're going to come to this bathroom. I might end up making it like that because that was just going to be like a closet, but I wasn't going to do a whole separate color scheme for it. So let's just say this is the bathroom. And for this bathroom, we are going to do orange and yellow. Those are two colors that we have not had before. So what kind of tile? <gasps> Wait a minute. This could kind of really work. I totally forgot that we had these. I think let's do the shower there. We'll do a toilet there. We have an orange and yellow sink, but we also have these ones from the new pack. They look so good. This mirror from Seasons. Okay. We're actually going to do two windows in here. Oh, this basket is so perfect. I would love a sizable plant in the corner. That is a bit too sizable. How about dine out plant? Gorgeous. We will use our new slots on our sink. Cannot forget the sunscreen. I actually feel like the orange kind of does work. And here is our orange and yellow bathroom. I was so nervous when we rolled this, but it turned out so fun. So now we are coming to the second bedroom and we are going to be doing ash gray and green. Maybe we will go the direction that we went with the first bedroom where we kind of just did one color on the walls and the other in the actual furniture. This is like that minty green color that we kind of got. Maybe we'll do the cats and dogs dresser as well. Like maybe we'll kind of do the whole set vibe. Ooh, and the jungle adventure mirror. We gotta do it. You know I had to. I feel like your sim should be able to walk through there, but you never know because it's the sims. I don't like these because they actually genuinely just cover up the whole window. I feel like I would be more likely to use the curtains like this if they were actually like functional in the sims. Like if your sim could pull them back and let the light in. But no, if you use those, your sim is literally just not getting light in their room. I don't know if the chair is the right idea. We could do the ottoman. I feel like that's a little bit more functional. I do want us to get a little bit more of like our gray in here as well because I feel like it's not really trying to make two colors work if I just make one color of the wall and everything else the other color. I really do like to put hand soap sometimes like on dressers. Like maybe it's a moisturizer or a lotion. We could do these canvases. That's actually really cool. Oh my god, maybe they're canvases that the other person painted for this sim. And I feel like a gray rug would look really nice. Like this one. Oh, it looks so fuzzy and nice. So this is our light green and gray bedroom. Now we're coming over here to the main bedroom and I don't really know what I was doing when I was thinking about the shape for this. Like I have no idea. <laughs> for this one we are going to be doing beige and melon. It's a light pink. It's a blush pink. It's a melon pink. One could say. Do we have a melon-y pink bed that we could use? I think I might do this one because this one also has like beiginess in it. And then maybe we do a dresser and a television. You need the telly. And then over here here, I'd love like a big bookshelf. Oh, look at these chairs. Look at these chairs. Aren't they neat? Wouldn't you think that my bedroom's complete? No, because we're not done. You would not think that my bedroom's complete. We could do a gallery wall. Like maybe they've traveled the world and that's all their books from their travels. These are all the pictures and other souvenirs they've brought back. We need our chicken. All right, let's get some peak beige in here with the curtains. All the voices in there told me not to do it, but I added some more string lights. And here it is, our beige and pink melon bedroom. My concept is like, because their gallery wall is so much, they like to keep kind of the rest of the room pretty clear and uncluttered. So next we are moving on to the main bathroom. And the colors we are using for this are red and light blue. Okay, so we did a red and blue bedroom. So I feel like it's okay if we do a red and blue bathroom. I feel like if I got red and blue for another bedroom, I wouldn't want it. But I think we actually can make this work because we have a really light blue. So what kind of red do we have? We have this, this shower tub combo. These spa day sinks, I feel like. That's kind of our red. I don't know how I feel about that toilet. Wait, no, we could do the talking one. I will say though, like at least we actually do have things. Like, we do have red items. What if we do those for the mirrors? One thing about me is that I will be immediately saying we should have rerolled if I start having the inkling that I'm not gonna like something. I could just do these like cats and dogs painting. They kind of make me think of water. This one from Dream Home Decorating.
decorator is cute. To get our little wall light. Maybe we'll add some extra down there because why not? Squeeze in a little trash can. I don't know if that makes the sink not functional. It's so weird how the other nine tile bathroom, I was like, I love this. It's perfect. It's a great layout. And this one, I'm like, I feel like I can't put anything anywhere. Definitely can get a curtain. I'm just gonna put this little plant item because we don't really have room for another plant. And I think I'm gonna call it, this is our red and blue bathroom. So for our last room inside, we have the office. And for this one, we're going to be doing dark purple and Caribbean current. Now that is a dark purple, but it's more of like a wine purple. Maybe that, ooh, wait, that's fun. Blue is supposed to be a good color to have in an office as well. This bookshelf could work really well right here. I feel like I have not gotten to use this enough. That is the perfect rug for right there. Now this is one of the skinnier desks, so we have to be conservative with our clutter on here. But why not an open flame? You know, why not an open flame? What if we faced the desk this way? Oh, I kind of like that. I feel like it's nice. It's like you're open to things. What else should go in an office? Maybe literally just some like random clutter. Like I love adding that box everywhere. I love this box. These guys are really good. Oh, the box of files. Perfect, perfect. The cityscape statue is so cute. Oh, this picture is really, really good. It's the medium wall height that really gets me because I feel like if this were short wall height, it would look so much fuller. Because there's this extra spot at the top that's just blank. It feels like I need to add more. I like that I said, let's be conservative with our clutter. And we have five pieces of clutter on the very thin desk, seven pieces of clutter on the shelf, five on the floor, but it's not very big. So I feel like that's okay, but that's our office. Last but not least, we have our backyard area here. And for this, we are going to be doing green and green. And you know what? I'm actually gonna keep this because it's the backyard. What else am I gonna do? This is a perfect opportunity for us to do some uh, astroturf. Is that what they call that? Yeah, we just laid it down all on the porch. We'll get our pool. Oh my God, I can do the green water. I think we'll just do this grill. We'll do a nice outdoor trash can. Let's bring in our counters from the kitchen so that we can have our outdoor sink. I forgot about this picnic table. Oh, we do have like light green lounge chairs. That's very close to our light green. As for everything else, I don't know. I actually might revise this a little bit and kind of do the pool like that to like save on space. Is it silly if I landscape around the entire thing? Like how silly is that if I bring the hedges all the way around? What kind of outdoor lights do we have? Because obviously we cannot live in the dark if we want to be out here in the nighttime. Those ones from Get Together aren't bad. I really said let's take every swatch of green and just put it here. If you made it this far in the video, comment chess because I am randomly throwing in some chess pieces or comment mallard. Are you team chess or are you team mallard? Because I am also adding the mallard. Oh, we do have a cute little bike and we have a cute little mountain bike. Maybe we're biking, we're bikers. And something that I do love is when you all comment and tell me who you think lives here. That's like absolutely my favorite part of of making these videos is hearing all of your theories and all of your storytelling behind it. And if you did make it this far in the video, do feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, help me out against the algo, comment more build challenge ideas because that's literally where I got this idea. Like you all are so creative and I love trying them out. I feel like we still need something over here. Oh, this is looking good at night. I am just gonna throw in some lights around here so no one's fallen into the pool. There we go, beautiful. And of course, a green whale, we gotta have it. We you gotta have it. And if you ever wanna see me do challenges like this live, do come on over to Twitch. My link is down below. I stream like four times a week. And here is the house from the outside and from the top down. This of course will be on the gallery. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a lovely tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.